Good morning! <laughs> I just feel like an anime character today. A super treat! Don't mind if I do trapdoor brewing. Thank you. Neapolitan style milk stout with strawberries, vanilla beans, and cacao nibs. You better believe I'm gonna drink it all, you independent brew beauty out of Vancouver, Washington. I can't read the date though. That's fine. Uh yeah, sorry. I'm good morning. Just give me a minute, please. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's all those things. <laughs> Trouble notice. I got myself a little honey bunny on the side. He's not really on the side. He's like with me all the time. I love him very much. And that little sugar nut wants to go to Buffalo, New York. <laughs> wants to go back to Buffalo, New York, March 13th to March 19th. <gasps> Buffalo. The place that first started measuring levels of snow with beer. So I'm bringing a whole suitcase of beer. That's gonna be a big deal. Great notion, upright. Uh, along with that, I am setting up a little elixir mixer, little can-can bottle share. Uh, trades are absolutely welcome. I will, of course, be coming back with a suitcase of beer. So tell your friends in Buffalo, New York and your friends in Portland, Oregon that there is some epic beer shit going down and they're gonna wanna be part of it between March 13th and March 19th because I'm gonna be bringing some delicious things. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, lots of snow, homeboy in Discord server from Buffalo. He's been helping me to find a location to host the event, but so far we have not found anything. Uh, Cause I don't really know. Uh, called a couple places, it's a little sparse. It's also St. Patrick's Day weekend. That's right, be there for St. Patrick's Day. Wish me luck. It's gonna be great, I'm gonna survive. Weather conditions so far just say there's going to be dangerous wind. <laughs> Things gonna stop me from bringing my hats. I don't think so. <laughs> Oof, gotta love that long pour. In other news, two little pieces just to think about. This guy in Australia has been doing some amazing indigenous work putting baobab tree nuts into a beer. Cool story. I like people utilizing their native ingredients to make stuff, bravo. Uh, second little story, Bush, the official beer of NASCAR, is going dirty. So we took Kevin Harvick's 2018 number four car, cut it up, and turned it into 40 collector's edition Bush cans. <laughs> um, honestly, that's pretty cool. It's an epic waste of resources and time, but uh, it makes for a pretty sweet collector's item if you're into that. They only made 40 of them, and if you weren't tuned into NASCAR on February 4th, 17th then you missed out I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner didn't mean to break your heart like that I'm working on moving morning beer into like a daily thing so that you won't have to miss out on all these sweet canned stuffs I want you to know these things cans made out of cars <laughs>